You keep saying 28. From that report, that's if we become an exporter. From that report, for just our own use, it's not tens, it's 10. So shouldn't you start saying that if we want to have a high-minded debate and we're not doing Blinky Bill and Three-Eyed, let's stick to the facts as well. It's 10,000, not 28,000. Well, well, here's the facts, Tom. There isn't any. It's not built and it doesn't exist. So uh, it takes an awfully long time to get that done. It needs an awful lot of land, a lot of resources, a lot of cost, all of which uh, directly impact mm. the price of electricity in this country and paid for by electricity consumers. But, uh, but as I've said, so what, we've already seen New South Wales ex mm. extend coal because you have to. Uh, you'll need gas because you, you will absolutely mm. have to have gas. Uh, and that's They've just the reality where not we're expanded at. coal. So how much gas then? How much gas do you think we'll need in the year 2050 as part of our energy grid? So, you know, renew, um, nuclear is, what, about 15? What do you think we'll need in terms of gas? Oh, well, I haven't heard that 15 figure before. It, it depends on what size the units are at those seven sites, how quickly they're built, uh, what type uh, are utilised, uh, and for at what, at what capacity factor. So in terms of how much gas you need, well, it comes back to, is it a peaker? How long do you want it to run for? Uh, is it replacing something else? Uh, th there's a lot of variables mm. here, Tom, but in particular, the, the one that really matters, we've got to keep the lights on and we've got to keep power at an affordable price mm. or manufacturing will just desert this country. So I come back to my original question, though. New, um, renewables are at 35 right now. They'll go up, right? That's not just going to sit at 35%. The coalition's not going to scrap every major renewables project from now on, or, or are you? Is that what you'd like? Uh, well, I, well I, I can't tell you what the policy is. I, I, I am not the shadow minister. I'm not in the shadow cabinet. I'm not setting policy. Uh, but from a practical mm. viewpoint, you cannot run the country on part-time power. It, it's just not physically possible. So that means well, you, you do have to you maintain can, your reliability. Right now, we're running the country on 35% renewables. It's not, not always part-time. It can be firmed. I know we've discussed that on this program before. Well, well, once again, let's go to reality. In South Australia, it's held together by diesel generators right? <laughs> and a connection to coal in Victoria. Uh, and, and if you look at other areas, batteries run for minutes. Uh, they're, well, yeah, but mm. they're incredibly expensive. And, and once again, that's just not going to happen. So the idea that you can power Melbourne from Cairns with intermittent supply because it might be windy up there and not in Melbourne, well, that, that's exactly like saying that you'll provide your water from Cairns to Melbourne in case you run out of dam water. I, no one believes that can happen. It's just ridiculous. So let, let's stick with what works. You've got an awful lot of capacity out there right mm. now uh, that needs to be utilised. One of the reasons in government, uh, Tom, that we put the capacity investment scheme in place was to ensure reliability of the network because it included coal and gas and it meant that they would be there and available if there was a shortfall uh, or it simply got dark, got cloudy or the wind so, stopped blowing. But unfortunately, the current Federal Labor but, Government removed that. It's not included. Most of the estimates I see for net zero is that gas is a few percent in the system. Are you saying it'll be a lot more? And if so, that means other elements of the economy will have to do more, won't they? Because it's net zero. And I'm assuming you do support net zero 2050 as a policy? Well, I, I looked at the AMO report, and in particular the summary, uh, and I think one of the things that needs to be looked at very closely is the total amount of generation that is suggesting that is to be built in this country. Because it is so intermittent, because it's got such a low utilisation rate, you know, it's like 20% for solar and you know, 30, 33 for wind. Uh, you need an extraordinary amount of this stuff to even get close to average in what you need. Uh, and then on batteries, they don't talk about how long the capacity is for, Sim simply a delivery size in gigawatts. Whereas in, for batteries, it's gigawatt hours that matter. Uh, and the rest of it is just right. bunkum, to be honest. So I, I think there's a lot didn't of work to be done an here. Yeah, right. I'm sure there'll be more. We're going to go. Didn't quite get an answer on net zero. Maybe next time, unless you want to just say yes or no to me. Net zero, thumbs up, thumbs down. Well, there's already a, well, there's already a commitment. It's a matter, on, uh, matter of how it's done. I'm asking about you, though. <laughs> it's not up to me, mate. Uh, if it was up to me, things would look very different.